In the previous video, I introduced three different possible versions of multiplication and ways that you can set out your work. The third one was the lattice method, or Chinese multiplication method, or Napier's bones. And that is the one that I'm going to look at in this video. Because actually, if you're not happy with either of the other two, and you're not confident with either of the other two, then this one is usually the easiest for you to pick up. So we're going to start off with um, something like 56 times 32. We set it out with the tens units, or both of them, tens units. The grid looks like this. Okay. So then... We do 6 times 3 is 18, so we write the 1, then the 8. 6 times 2 is 12, we write the 1, then the 2. 5 times 3 is 15, the 1, then the 5. 5 times 2 is 10, the 1, then the 0. We then add up the diagonals. So we have 2. 8 plus 1 plus 0 is 9. 1 plus 5 plus 1 is 7. And we have that 1 left over. So the answer is 1792. Let's look at another one. Let's try 87 times 99. So set out in a similar way, 8, 7, 9, 9. So we have 7 times 9 to start off with, which is 63. 7 times 9 is 63. 8 9s are 72. 8 9s are 72. We add up the diagonals, so we have 3, 3 plus 6 plus 2 is 11, so we write 1 and then carry the 1 over, much like you would in any other kind of additional multiplication. Then we have 6 plus 2 plus 7 is 15, add that 1 that we had left over is 16. So we write 6 and carry the 1, then 7 plus that 1 will make 8. So the final answer is 8613, 8613. If you wanted to extend this method to hundreds, for example, let's say we had 329 times 42, then we can write 3 2, 9, 4, 2. The grid gets a little bit larger. We have 9 times 4 is 36. 9 times 2 is 18. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 2 is 4. 3 times 4 is 12. 3 times 2 is 6. So our diagonals are these. We have the 8. 6 plus 1 plus 4 is 11. Write the 1, carry the 1. 3 plus 8 plus the 6 is 17. Plus that 1 is 18. So put the 8, carry the 1. 2 plus that 1 is 3. And then we've got, finally got that one afterwards. So the answer is 13,818. 13,818. Okay? Now in the next video, we're going to look at how we can deal with multiplying with decimals. Okay? And how that's going to change things slightly.